We're back now with the U.S. Senate race. Incumbent Rick Scott facing off against Democratic challenger and Congresswoman Debbie Mukersell Powell. And this race is expected to be one of the tightest in Florida this election. We have live team coverage of the battle for Senate. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live in Miami with more on Mukersell Powell's campaign. Janine. This is a tight race and this is a very closely watched race. Debbie Mukersell Powell, this is her watch party here at the JW Marriott in Brickell. She's not here right now, but earlier in the day, she did spend some time connecting with some voters at some different polling places. I want to show you these pictures from her campaign. At one point, she was at the Doral Senior High polling place speaking to people. You know, she really has a big task unseating an incumbent who has statewide name recognition in a state that now has more than a million registered Republicans. But Dems that we've talked to today say they are hopeful. And the big X factor is independence. As you know, here in the state of Florida, nearly 3.6 million registered voters with no party affiliation. I'll step out of the way and you can see this is uh, the room here, the ballroom here at the JW Marriott. You can see that the podium is set up. Everything is ready to go. Surrogates are expected to come here in the next hour or two to start talking about uh, the DMP campaign. Her camp really says that she's more in touch with voters when it comes to reproductive rights, and they are hopeful that some of these amendments on the ballot will uh, galvanize people to come to the polls. And as you know, voter turnout, especially in a presidential election year, is huge. As you know, here in the state of Florida, there has not been an elected U.S. Senator of the Democratic Party since 2019. Debbie Mukersell Powell's campaign is hoping to change that. We'll be here all night and uh, bring you results as they come in and reaction as well. We're in Miami. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Always an uphill climb against the incumbent. Thanks a lot, Janine. And Senator Rick Scott spent his day crisscrossing the state. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live in Bonita Springs ahead of Scott's watch party. Roy. Nicole and Calvin, and he continues campaigning. We are right here at the Hyatt Regency Coconut Point in Bonita Springs. This is the location where he will hold his watch party and watch those results come in this evening. You can see that the stage is set right here behind me, but will we hear a victory speech tonight or will it be a concession? We will just have to wait and see. It's election day and the last day voters can make their voices heard on a number of different races, one being the U.S. Senate race between incumbent Republican Senator Rick Scott and Democrat Debbie Mukersell. Powell. The two have been busy on the campaign trail leading up to Election Day. Scott making stops in Jacksonville, Orlando and Tampa today before he will hold his watch party right here in Bonita Springs. At last check, polls had Scott leading the race, but voters are still out there casting their vote. And he also has many things right now working in his favor in this election. He is a two time governor of Florida. He's already served as U.S. Senator for one six year term and is now seeking reelection. He is also allies with Trump, so those supporters in Florida are likely to vote for him as well. And while Florida was once considered a swing state, it is slowly turning red with one million more registered Republicans in the state. Question is, will those numbers translate to votes? Scott hopes it will. Here is what he had to say as he spoke with supporters in Tallahassee today. So today's a big day. Go vote. This is your future. Uh, what's on the ballot today is freedom. Uh, every poll in the general election said I would lose. Every poll in the 14 election said I'd lose. Every poll in the 18 election said I was going to lose. And so don't rely on the polls. Um, to go make your voices heard. And if Scott is to win, he hopes to succeed U.S. Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, who is stepping down as GOP leader. We will be here for the watch party and as those results begin to come in after 7 this evening. For now in Bonita Springs, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay, Roy, thank you.